Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to both Willow Creek and Forgotten Grotto and we're building a merchant's traveling merchant's caravan or peddler's caravan and I split the building process for this between Willow Creek and Forgotten Grotto because as you can see right now we are in Forgotten Grotto and it's very very dark in here so I didn't really like the lighting and you can't really see what's going on so in a bit we're gonna move to Willow Creek so I gonna finish the rest of the building and the furnishing process over there which was a good call because this build just became a hundred times prettier with the correct lighting you know and I mean, I do love how it looked in The Forgotten Grotto because that place is just very beautiful and underrated and there are like these beautiful faint rays of colorful sunlight like it's, it's so gorgeous, you probably saw that in the intro for this video it's just beautiful, it's just a bit too dark so this build is intended for the Forgotten Grotto, but you can place it in Willow Creek like I did or in any other world really. I just placed it in Willow Creek because this is like base game compatible, but it would also look pretty good in Glimmerbrook or um, maybe even Forgotten Hollow or the werewolf's world what was it called moonwood mill yeah uh it would look good there also and in a couple of other worlds so you can just place it in whatever world you want i'm gonna upload both versions for you the one from forgotten grotto and from willow creek the only difference between them is that the lot size in willow creek is bigger than the lot size in Forgotten Grotto so I had to like fill up the empty space with something and I also moved uh, the house a little bit to the back. Also if you don't know what Forgotten Grotto is it's basically a secret or hidden lot that you can access from Oasis Springs. Uh, you can just google it how to find the Forgotten Grotto and you're gonna find the steps for that. I can't include them for you because there's this whole process that you have to do to be able to go there, including getting like one of your Sims handiness level to 10. However, I'm gonna tell you that when you do get there, you need to enter this cheat to be able to access build mode, which is bb.enable free build. And that will basically open uh, build mode for you, so you can just place the lot. Or if you use mods, then Twisted Maxi, the creator of the tool mod, and the Better Build My mod, also has a mod called like it's something like Always Free Build or something. Uh, you can also get that mod, so you can have that cheat turned on automatically every time you enter your game. Also, I want to apologize if you're hearing any background noises. There is a an airplane taking off like every five minutes or even less. Like, I don't know what's going on today, so I am very sorry about that. And I will see you in a bit to continue talking about the spill.
what is the backstory behind this build? Well, firstly, this is intended as a fantasy build, although it's not necessarily like fantasy, it could be like something realistic just from the pre-modern ages, like probably the Victorian era or even before that. But the idea is that there is this peddler that travels from place to place selling his goods but now he is very old and he wants to retire so he just chose this piece of land to keep his caravan parked on and just settled down there for good so it could be either the Forgotten Grotto which I think fits perfectly with his story like he just wants to live alone and in peace away from everyone and just live with his pets and away from any humans or civilization so he just hangs out by himself or with his animals and he gardens and he does some fishing and some foraging and that's how he survives. Of course this is just my own backstory, you can do whatever you want with this build. Although you won't really have that much freedom because there is only a place for one sim in this house, there is only one single bed. So you can only put one sim but whoever that sim might be is up to you. It could be like a plant sim's house or maybe even a lone spellcaster, like whatever you want. And I did get inspiration for this from a couple of illustrations for like fantasy caravans, but I'm not gonna post them for you because I don't have the pictures and it's not like entirely based on them, it's just inspired by them. I took like a different elements from each of those. And yeah, this is what I came up with. It's just very cozy and very cluttered and I would love to live here myself. And I also hope that you like this build. It's definitely been a nice break from all those colorful and modern builds, modern and transitional builds that I've been doing recently.
that's everything I guess I wanted to say about this build, so I'm going to leave you now with this music, and I hope you enjoyed this video and this build, and as usual, you're going to find the tray files and the CC links for this build on my Patreon for free, and you can also download it from my gallery, you can find my ID in the description, it's the same as my channel name and socials and I'm also going to upload this on Curse Forge. I'm gonna share the details with you on how you're gonna be able to download it from there and yeah special thanks to my patrons as usual you guys are the best and I love you all so much and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye